Another sunny day brightens our home. The small seeds I planted just a week ago are now growing into strong plants right in front of us. We love looking at the beautiful local scenery, palm trees, mountains, fast moving clouds. Your chick always discover new things to keep himself entertained. Oh, you can do it! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> wow, so extreme! And he's growing fast, especially when you compare it to our older videos. Whoa! We started today with a fresh papaya and something very exciting awaits this little guy. But raw papaya, we put it in chicken tinola. Mm -hmm. So we use papaya here in the Philippines mostly for our chicken. Now we mentioned that local people typically aren't big fans of eating papaya as a fruit. It's more popular among foreigners. However, locals use papaya differently by adding it to soup as a vegetable. If the papaya isn't ripe enough to be a fruit, it works well as a vegetable and it has a green color. Our neighbors offered to help us cut off a piece of pipe that was sticking out of our concrete platform next to the house so that we could install an inflatable pool for our son. This pipe was creating a bump and could puncture the pool. And now that it's gone, it's time for a swim. Put the water inside. Inside water. Okay. This is your own favorite thing. He enjoys playing in the water and can do it all day. As it got hotter outside and the sun became intense, I decided to set up a canopy to provide some shade. Boy, you're in no jumping! Now, our son can keep splashing happily while staying cool under the shade. Какой стильный зайчик! Какой ты стильный! Бака верный компаньон. Dimitri is mentioning here how it would be great to lay down pathways or at least add gravel. When we walk outside the house, our feet and shoes get dirty with soil and it all ends up at home. We have to keep washing the floors constantly a few times per day. And now, let's transition from one splash of water to another because it's time to water our garden. Yeah. 
And here are the pineapples slowly taking root in our garden. You know, pineapples in the Philippines are incredibly tasty and sweet. Coriander, peppermint, basil. Okay. okay, let's go. Солнечная погода нас сменилась такими тучами резко. Дождь собирается. While it's raining, it's time for a delicious and nutritious lunch. One day, perhaps, such a meal will be entirely from our garden. Not sure about the chicken, but who knows? Also, never forget about your four-legged friends. They've spent a lot of energy playing with each other. Dimitri decided to readjust the camera and install additional lighting on the solar panels. I've also chosen to install a small solar light above the car. This way it will be more convenient when preparing for an early morning trip. And it will also make unloading things from the trunk easier if we return late. By the way, soon we will have such an early trip to another island. We've set the automatic mode. Now it will turn on when the sun goes down. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Бабушка. Happy birthday, бабушка. Say happy birthday, бабушка. <laughs> After we congratulated my mom, your chick's grandmother, on her birthday, my mom gave me some medical advice. She worked as a doctor throughout her entire adult life.
машинка подсвечена. Супер. Не. Вообще светло. Вообще. The next day, we headed to the sea for some free diving. We hadn't been there for a few weeks due to the pleasant task of settling into our new home. So it was delightful to spend a day by the sea and feel like we are on a little vacation again. Today, Dima prepared his large camera to capture underwater footage of our dives and take a few photos. Hi guys! We're here at the beach. Say hi, Yuni. Today we have a free diving session with our friend. We're gonna do some free diving session here at the beach. It's low tide today. And also we're gonna shoot some beautiful videos, take some beautiful and beautiful underwater photos. I think I was... And Dima is flying the drone. You lost the drone? <laughs> Our neighbor Len Len is here. She's gonna watch your chick while Dima and I are doing free diving. Here, Dima explains that to check for leaks in the underwater housing and prevent the camera from sinking, you can use a special pump with a pressure gauge to remove all the air and create a vacuum in the underwater housing. By observing if the pressures remain stable, you can determine if there are any leaks. Additionally, the extra pressure inside the water housing ensures a tighter seal for all its components, such as the lid or the dome port, reducing the likelihood of them opening underwater. The guys is with free diving suit. So bright. This for you, Jin. This is Dima's suit. I don't have a suit. I'm gonna get cold. I'll just, I'm just like this. Yeah. Yeah, maybe next time we'll order for me suit. This is thick, yeah? 3, 3 mm? Yeah, but it's it open cell. Sometimes we see a bunch of sea turtles here. I hope we can find one at least one today. Or a bunch of them would be nice. The guys put on their wetsuits with an open cell under the shower with soap. Otherwise, the wetsuit sticks to the skin and it's very challenging to put it on a dry state without damaging or tearing it. What are you doing? Eugene is so bright. Huh? Oh, look at me. 200 and camera, we need to pay for camera 200. <laughs>
not for the first time, but Navi has been stung by jellyfish multiple times, and she even had to cut her dive's shirt. Yes, sometimes there are a lot of jellyfish in the sea, so it's essential to always wear a wetsuit for protection and warmth, especially because Navi is allergic to them, and the stings become very visible and itchy afterward. You need to have suit and also bring with our buoy, put some vinegar, bottle of vinegar. Also, vinegar can be helpful if applied to the stank arrays immediately after the sting. Likely, Navi had some cream on hand that helped to alleviate the itching. All right, guys, we just finished free diving and look at my skin. My legs, my arms, my body is just full of jellyfish stings so many sting and it's itchy i put some cream there because i have jellyfish allergy and there's a lot there's a bunch of jellyfish today there and actually i saw a big turtle there i'm not sure if i filmed it or not but yeah we're going home now i've got so many jellyfish down all over my body Let's go home! Alright guys, we're going home now. We're done free diving here. I really enjoyed it so much. It's been a long time since I went free diving with my husband. I think almost 3-4 <laughs> months ago. Add this. This is beautiful. Maybe more up this one. Yeah. yeah. Go on. I will add some rocks here and some beautiful stones, white stones. Mm. It's gonna be beautiful. We'll make some landscape, some beautiful landscape. Maybe uh, and then here, here, we're gonna also plant beautiful flowers here. And maybe some big plants in the middle, like some, what's this? It looks like bamboo. Cactus. No, not cactus.
here inside. Border, border. What are you eating? Eating corn. Corn. Do you like it? Do you like eating corn? Oh, yeah. oh, is it your favorite? Corn, yes. So yeah. yummy. High five. Give me fist. Oh, yeah. Fist. Good job. Good job. <laughs> I continued to hone my bread making skills and it keeps getting better and better. Now the bread turns out airy, crispy and very aromatic. Dimitri says it's the best bread he has ever had and he has tried a lot of bread in Russia. As the evening approaches, we decide to attend to our long-awaited garden beds. Inspired by beautiful pictures from the internet, we immediately got to work. It turned out to be not as easy as it looked in the pictures and we had to put in some effort.
While our son was splashing around in his new pool, we continued to sew, drape and measure something. Although, of course, it would have been better to start with measuring, but who among us is truly flawless? And now it's starting to get noticeably darker, and it feels like we haven't achieved much. So we're starting to make our um, raised bed, garden raised bed here. We are going to use bamboos because we have a lot of bamboos here in our lot. See, we have bamboos there. This is one raised bed here and then there's going to be a space for like pathway here for walking and then another raised bed and then a space for walking and then another one raised bed. And then another side, I also want to make a guard, um, raised bed here on this side. I don't know how many I'm gonna make. We'll see, we'll, we will measure this once we start working here. But I already have a lot of, I have a lot of pineapples here already. I'm going to plant more pineapples here. What a lovely sky, so beautiful, perfect. The next morning, Yuchik immediately asked to go visit the neighbors because the kids there had real fun with the tires. Yes, the childhood of these children here in the province still resembles the childhood of our generation. No gadgets, phones, or online games. They invent their own entertainment using what's readily available. It doesn't work. <laughs> Yuri, you, you need practice. Every day. <laughs> All right, guys. So, another day, another beautiful sunny day here in our place in the mountain. So, we're gonna continue making our raised bed garden. I think we're gonna change it guys because we did it wrong we've watched a youtube um, video today tutorial on how to make a bamboo race race bed garden and i think we yeah we're gonna we're going to follow it because it's much simpler easier and faster it's not gonna need a lot of bamboos we're gonna repeat we're gonna change what we've done yesterday but first I'm gonna drink my coffee. <laughs> she's, she's a little scared. Who is that? Your chick is scared. So, we're gonna take a break. We're going to take a break, guys. We'll continue later this afternoon.
this time, things really went faster and smoother for us. We simplified our garden beds and finally created our first one. Now, we just need to fill it with soil and plant something there. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate your likes, comments, and subscriptions. And we'll see you in the next video.